Okay, so now we have the hard drive video. What hard drive you should have to run Windows 7 comfortably. Um, there's two types, or rather three or three to four types of hard drives right now. There's EIDE and there's IDE, there's SATA and there's PATA. PATA are very small, usually solid state drives. Uh, I know the Dell Mini 9 and the, I think it's the Mini 10, they have little PATA drives. They're not real quick, they're pretty small, like eight gig, uh, really just for running Windows. Uh, not a whole lot of those. SATA stands for Serial ATA, and that's most of the computers on the market sold since probably about 2006 or 7. Um, it's just a different interface. You know, IDE and EIDE had a whole bunch of pins that stuck out. It was not as efficient. It would use more power, and obviously it's easier to break those pins than just two little ports that you put cables on. The E in EIDE stands for Enhanced, so it's uh, just a little bit better. And those are your two types of hard drives. Then there's different RPM. RPM's revolutions per minute. There is the 4200 standard, which was several years ago, back in the early 2000s. Then there is the 5400, which is just kind of dying out now. And then there's the 7200, and you can even get it up to about 10,000. And then there's the 15,000, and a lot of servers. The faster your hard drive writes, the faster it spins, it's just a little disk in there, kind of like a CD, but it's really small. Uh, sometimes there's a couple, usually two, on top of each other in there. And then there's a head that moves over and works around those disks as they spin to write data, erase data, do whatever you do with your drive. Um, the faster that disk spins, the faster it's going to be able to read and write. Um, I would recommend 5400 or 7200 and above for Windows 7. Then there's the size of your hard drive. I'm not talking physically. Actually, I will talk physically. Laptops, they're 2.5 inches. Desktops, they're 3.5 inches. Make sure you don't get those confused or get the wrong hard drive for your computer. Um, then there's sizes. You can get hard drives from 10 gig all the way up to 2048 gig, which is 2 terabytes, which is an outlandish amount of space. Huge. Um, Windows 7 clean install uses 10.1 gig. So, if you were a user like me, 100 gig would be more than enough, because I have about 40 gig of iTunes, plus a whole bunch of Windows ISOs and, and other files. So, 100 gig would be good for me. I use a 320 in this machine. I have 100 gig set for backup. So, out of 200 gigabytes, I have 147 free, which is more than enough. If you do a lot of pictures, a lot of videos, maybe recording TV, 500 gig or more, I would recommend. It's very basic. All you really need is a browser, Internet Explorer, you know, maybe iTunes, AIM, Microsoft Word, something as simple as 32 gigabytes and more, unless you have a lot of music. And, you know, you might want to bump that up to 60, maybe all the way up to 160. 320 and more, it's becoming standard. Um, hard drives do not really cost a lot of money. Then there's hard drive cache. Cache is, as I said in my processor and memory video, what it does before it actually does it, for lack of better terms. Um, most hard drives now are 16 megabyte cache. It's not a whole lot of space. It, it works fine. Um, really, any hard drive you buy right now that is fairly new will be fine to run Windows 7. So, um, hard drives aren't really that expensive. You can get a 40 gig for like $30. Not real expensive, easy to install. Uh, that's where all the data is stored on your computer, though. So, you know, if you take that out, you're going to have to back everything out before you lose it, break it, you know, whatever you happen to do to it. And those are all internal hard drives. You can get an external hard drive, which plugs into your computer with USB or universal stereo bus. And you can get those up to several terabytes. I have a one terabyte right now. I just actually got I have a review on that. HP Simple Save one terabyte for 120 bucks. Um, and those are usually pretty quick, 7200 RPM or 10,000, 15,000 RPM drives. Uh, so you can write a lot of data to that quickly. Our drives are pretty simple. Uh, really, just for Windows 7, if you're a basic user, 160 gig is more than enough. Uh, you know, if you can get 300 or 250 or 500 for cheap, maybe an extra 20 bucks, it might be worth it if you're planning on keeping the machine more than, I don't know, three to four years. Because Think about it. Three to four years ago, we were looking at 60 gig, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Those were the options on my ThinkPad Z61T.
and that was new in 07. So you know that was not that long ago. And uh, today is the 10th or the 19th of October, 2009. So uh, the more space, the better. The more space does not say the speed. The RPM and the cache says the speed. Hard drives I would recommend: Seagate, Western Digital, or Scorpio is a great hard drive. Uh, Fujitsu's, I've had good luck with those. IBM Travel Stars, Toshiba's. If you haven't heard of it, Google it. Look at some reviews. Uh, even eBay, it, see if there's a whole lot of results. If, if, if it's dirt cheap and it's not a good brand, probably not a good idea to get one because it's a pretty crucial part of your computer to ever getting stored on there. But anyways, there's my hard drive video of what hard drive you should have to run Windows 7. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what's up. Thanks, guys.